This lesson number six is on the pull pattern. And when we look at the pull pattern, this is a segue from the high elbow set. So we have the entry, we have the high elbow set, and then what happens when your hand comes seemingly underneath your body. The old description of freestyle stroke was do the S pattern. And I used to always ridicule people, yeah, you do a big old S pattern like this and you whip it underneath your body, and that's just dreadful. You don't do an S pattern. The hand comes into the water, and because my shoulders are in neutral while I'm showing you this pattern, it almost looks like it's a straight arm pull. But there is movement because the rotation with your shoulder will cause a slight inward motion with the hand. But I want you to take a look at my hand. If I have a paintbrush on that middle finger, I am putting a dot on the bottom of the pool. And as I apply the pressure on the high elbow set and continue on the pull pattern right now, my fingers are pointing straight down towards the bottom. They're not deviated or angled in at 45 degrees. They're straight down getting ready for the finish on my stroke. So if you can visualize yourself on a big wide paddleboard or surfboard and there's no rotation at all, the stroke looks something like this. Well, that's not freestyle, but you get the idea of pulling a little bit wider with your fingers, fingers pointed straight down towards the bottom. I hope that helps. Kelsey's gonna show us the underwater pull pattern and we're just gonna alternate arms as if we're doing an underwater recovery. So go ahead and let's do a few complete strokes here, Kelsey. So high elbow set and if we watch the fingers on the pull pattern, I'm gonna have her stop on this next one, right? Go ahead and set, stop right there. So if we look at the fingers on this, in using the stretch cords, she has the thumb on the outside edge of the stretch cord so she can keep her wrist in neutral and her fingers are pretty much close together. But what I want you to look at is her fingers are pointing straight down. If she angles her right hand so now it looks underneath her body and it's tucked underneath and crossed over at 45 degrees. This is where a lot of athletes get reckless. They bring their hand in too close to their body and then the hand comes close to the hip on the finish. And we never want this zigzaggy S sort of pattern again. So let's do a few more complete strokes here, Kelsey. So high elbow set and the fingers are pointed straight down. Again, we can cheat a little bit with the band on the stretch cord, but we have a nice pull pattern. And again, recognize that we're not rotating our shoulders, so we're not seeing a lot of shoulder action on this. But while you're on land with the stretch cords, this is the proper mechanics for that pull pattern on freestyle. Once you've made the high elbow set and you continue on with the pull pattern, a couple really key ingredients to making sure that you have a masterful underwater pull, and that's to keep your hand and wrist in neutral, just like this, for almost the entire phase of the stroke until you're right at the finish, which I'll cover in just a second. The other cue is that you don't wanna turn your hands in, and people always talk about the S stroke, we always went over that. You're not doing an S stroke when you're swimming freestyle. So practice this initially. The initial tip is to be real flat in the water, minimize the rotation, which I've already talked about. Make sure that you're almost pulling through straight, straight through as if you're on a paddle board to begin with. Then you're gonna know that that middle finger, which is a paintbrush, is pointing a nice straight line all the way through. Then you'll add the rotation with your shoulders and you will get a little bit of deviation with your hand. So use the single paddle. You can feel this with right hand, left hand. Mix up your paddles so your spatial awareness where your hands are as they're going through the water will really be heightened. You have an opportunity to really have a beautiful pull pattern underneath and the first number one ingredient are fingers perfectly straight, wrist and neutral.